Secrets most doctors don't want you to know. No shots, no pills, and no machines. Pay very close attention to the next five minutes and we can change your life forever. Pain pills are the largest killers of your body, especially your immune system. Use your brain, not your fingers or your wrists, to open a bottle of pills. Pay attention to everything you see and hear, and you could become a new person. This is myotherapy. Find your trigger points, and you will know part of the secrets and puzzles that have kept most of us in the dark regarding pain. Welcome. My name is Laura Lee, and I'm a master myotherapist. And I'm here to introduce you to myo means muscle and therapy means to heal. And how I'm doing that is through a mailbag system of you send me letters and I go to this mailbag and I pull out a letter and I read it and we'll see how we can help the person who wrote the letter and also anybody interested in Maybe helping them too. Let's see here. Laura Lee. Dear Laura Lee, I have been grinding my teeth in my sleep. It's getting so bad that I'm filing down my own teeth. The dentist gave me many mouth guards to no avail. Myotherapy sounds like it can help me. Please let me know what to do next on my path to get relief. Overtensed, Jonathan of Arizona. Well, Jonathan, grinding your teeth. Ooh, that myotherapy definitely helps um, grinding of your teeth. So let me explain. So myo means muscle, therapy means to heal, and what we do is we work with trigger points. And trigger points are sore spots that get stuck in your muscles when you overuse or injure a muscle. Um, overuse could be um, exercise, uh, occupations, sports, uh, operations, birth, all sorts of things lay down these trigger points initially. And then they lay latent or sleeping until you become emotionally or physically stressed. So what happens when that happens, the trigger point lights up, sends a message to the brain, and the brain responds to spasm. And a pain spasm cycle starts. Now most people will go to the medicine cabinet or they'll go chill out and just simmer it down again. But it's going to be ready to fire under emotional or physical stress. So the more trigger points you get rid of out of your body that you've collected, the better off your muscles will not go into um, spasm when you are emotionally or physically stressed. So let's, that pain spasm cycle start, um, is engaged. What we do as myotherapists, we go cut that cycle by getting rid of the source, which is the trigger point. And how we do that and how you can do that also, there's tools I will show you in a second, but for right now, um, Jonathan, what you're going to do is you're going to use the shimmick compression, which is you want to go in slow with your thumb, elbow, or your fingertips, and there's also tools, and hold for seven seconds. That's 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, up to seven seconds. Then release slowly, that's key, and then go to the next trigger point. And how you know where these trigger points are is you have charts that you can get at myotherapyhealthcare.com and you can follow along the charts and they will tell you exactly where you need to go for your specific situation. So let's continue on. So you're getting rid of the trigger point, but muscles have memory so they forget. So if they've been in and out of spasm or stuck in spasm for a sustained period of time, they're going to want to shift back into that. So what you're going to do is re-educate the muscle. And how you do that is through repetition. So we give our patients exercises to do or corrective movements because they're not really exercises. They're just re-educating the muscle. So four times a day, four times each, which only should take a couple minutes to do them. And you do them breakfast, lunch, dinner, when you go to bed. Because one of the hardest things about the corrective movements is to remember to do them because we're such busy lives, but pain's a good reminder. So, breakfast, lunch, dinner, before you go to bed, you're gonna be taking two minutes out of whatever you're doing. Remind yourself somehow, write it in your appointment book, but the, the, uh, the corrective movements are very, they're very um, easy to do. They don't take up a lot of time, but they're very, very powerful. They seem almost too simple, but you gotta do them to know, to get to the other side of what we want to do by educating those muscles to let them know that they don't have to be in spasm anymore. So it takes time, like between four and six sessions is how long you see a myotherapist or you at least give yourself at least four and six sessions before you 
um, give up on it because one session builds on the next and you never know what muscle is going to let go to get rid of your pain. So when you have pain of, um, of grinding of your teeth, that actually can lead to a lot of other things. But let's get started on showing Jonathan how to not grind his teeth anymore. So what you're going to do is in other videos, we've used these tools right here before. You get your health charts, your, um, your myotherapy charts at myotherapyhealthcare.com. And these are the tools that you can get also. So that's also at myotherapyhealthcare.com. You can get these tools. But what you want to do is you start the gluteal muscles. The charts will show you. You're probably going, grinding teeth, what does that have to do with gluteal muscles? Well, the reason why is because all the lower body muscles attach here and all the upper body muscles attach here. And these are big muscles and they'll pull out anything small that you do up here um, if they go into spasm. So you want to address the big guys before you go in for the little ones. So take this tool, lean it up against the wall, or if you need more pressure, you can lay yourself on the floor. But most people just leaning up against the wall is plenty sufficient. So you're going to go up your back, the charts are going to show you, you're going to go up your, um, your, um, using your spine as a landmark, the charts show you next to the spine, we're working on muscles, we're not working on bones. So we're going to go up and then, oh voila, we can't reach anymore. So that's when this tool comes out. So we can use this tool as a leverage tool, you're going to press on it, you're not going to pull because it's going to use leverage. So we're going to hold the trigger points each for 7 seconds, you got it, and you're going to go in slow and come out slow. That's really key too. So the charts are going to show you to go up your back using your spine as a landmark and in between your shoulder blades and then up on your shoulder and then up on the top of your shoulder. And then you're going to come around and you're going to work on your chest muscles because this is the front of the back. If this is tight at all, this has something to do with it and vice versa. So that's how you want to think with muscles. Your biceps cannot contract unless your triceps let go. So you always want to work with the synergistic muscle, make sure that they're not causing the pain also. So here you are, you've got this, you're going up your neck, the neck charts are going to be there in front of you, you're going to hold for seven seconds, you're going to work on the front of your neck, which is you're going to squeeze this major big muscle right here, that's the easiest way, leaning your ear against your um, shoulders so to collapse that muscle, and we want to squeeze it because we don't want to press in that sensitive area that can cause a gag reflex. But just go slow. You'll find a lot of trigger points there because it's a main neck muscle. So as a matter of fact, I recommend people to detrigger that as they go through their days. When you work on yourself, you always want to put at least 24 hours in between you working on an area. You can skip around, but don't work the same area um, 20, without giving it 24 hours because it could cause inflammation. We don't want to do that. We are easing into back engineering, nurturing our muscles after a lifetime of beating them up. Okay, so anyway, here we go. This is for your, what you're going to do for, um, for grinding of your teeth is you're going to start working in your face. So you've got the back of your neck, you've got the front of your neck, and then you're going to go into your head. So what you're going to do is you're going to press right here. There's like a little knoll. You're going to press in. You're going to hold it for five seconds on the head. You can do seven. It just depends on your time factor, but go ahead and press in. And then you're going to hold it, and without lifting up, you're just going to go up, holding five seconds, down five seconds, without releasing the pressure, and then forward, and then back. And then what you're going to do is you're going to use your eyebrow as a landmark, and you're going to not press putting pressure, but come down, and then put the pressure up as you wrap around your eye socket. Okay, and these are key muscles because when we squint from not understanding something or from the sun, we use this muscle a lot. So then you go ahead and there's um, the corrective movements I will show you on the next video. So you put your hands on your cheeks and bite down. And you'll feel a, a rectangle muscle come up. So what you're going to do is you're going to press on the trigger points where that rectangle muscle came up. And if you forget, just bite down again and you'll find it again. And hold for five seconds each. There's about six little spots there that you would press on. Then we're going to go into the mouth. What you want to do is you want to take a surgical glove. Um, if it's your mouth, you probably don't care if you pick, put your fingers in your mouth. Or an eraser with a, brand, a pencil with a brand new eraser. That gets back into where we're going to be going. So pretend that this is your teeth and we're going to go straight in. This is the top teeth and this is the bottom teeth. Okay, top teeth, bottom teeth right here. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to take our finger and we're going to press straight into the flesh that's behind um, at the back of both of our sets of teeth, the top and the bottom. And it's going to be sensitive. You're going to hold that five seconds and then you're going to come out slowly and you're going to find another trigger point. So go ahead and just keep on pressing in there, maybe about four or five of them. It'll make your eyes water sometimes, but that's what's causing your teeth to grind. One of the main things is your pterygoid muscles. And those, that starts with the P, not a T, but they're called pterygoid muscles. And what they do is they move your jaw forward and back and side to side. And that is the corrective movement for grinding the teeth. But I'm going to show you on this, uh, part two of this video. So in the meantime, Jonathan, what you can do is do the trigger points. It's going to take you about an hour. Go slow, take it easy, and then you're going to do the passive um, stretches or the corrective movements. It's the same thing. So if anyone's interested in getting their name in the mail bag or interested in more information on myotherapy, um, Laura Lee's mailbag at gmail.com, myotherapyhealthcare.com. If you're sitting over there in the kitchen, you might want to write this down and you're off the couch because this could be important information if you go into spasm or if you get a headache or all sorts of things cause muscle or are caused by muscles. P.O. Box 64, Avila Beach, California, 93424. That's what gets you in the mailbag. So go ahead and write me a letter. I'll put it in the mailbag. You can also subscribe. You can also like us on Facebook and make a comment below. So what our motto is at myotherapyhealthcare.com is love life and life will love you back. But you can't do that when you're hurting, but you can do something about it for yourself. If you want to do proactive health care, you're at the right spot. So come join us again in the next video, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye for now.